three habits of the rich people. Now, you must be wondering, what is this three habits? Let me give you a backstory. In 2016, I started my journey of studying these rich and successful people. And I studied so many books. It made me realize that they have some secrets, some formulas that we, people living in middle class and poor families, we don't actually know. 2016 literally changed my life. And these three secrets, which I believe is completely common in all the rich and successful people. If anybody follows this, will become successful. So quickly, let's dive into what are the three secrets which changed my life and can change your life as well. Watch the video till the end if you want to have amazing insight about this. Number one, reading. You see, for 33 years, I was working in a job, I mean, not for 33 years, but I was at the age of 33, I was working in a job and it has been more than 13, 14, 15 years. I did not read anything beyond the formal education. And I realized the self-help books, self-development books, it got so much of valuable insight, so much of gold in it that I was missing it. First book I picked up was the 10x rule of Grant Cardone, which just blew my mind. It made me realize that everything in my life is mediocre. All my dreams got shattered. And if you've been following me for some time, you know that I come from a very humble family. My father was a truck driver and he told me to just study hard and, and make sure you don't do what I'm doing today. So I studied hard, but I forgot that my study should not stop after my formal education. And because of that, my dreams became mediocre. My life became mediocre. My friends all with the mediocre thought process. My family members with the mediocre thought process. My life and ambition, everything became mediocre. And I felt some pain of being stuck in life. I was making good money, three lakh a month at that time, but there was no fulfillment. When I started reading the book, I realized the book is worth 10, 20, 30, maybe even 50 years of somebody's experience, somebody's trials and errors, and they have shared all that compressed in a proper structure manner, and they've served on a silver platter. But it is us and our ignorance, we don't actually read it. The moment I started reading the book and I realized that an average millionaire reads about 60 books in a year, I made a commitment that I'm gonna beat the average millionaire they may have a lot of money, but I have more commitment, desire, and hunger and time as well. So I started my journey of reading self-help books. Within one year, I read 100 books. Fast forward today, within two and a half years, my life has completely changed. As you know, I became a millionaire this year. Within just two and a half years of me quitting the job, I quit my job in April 2018. How did I do it? Because of reading, because of learning and growing. And if you've been watching my videos, I recommend you read two books which I have written 80% mindset, 20% skills and 600 a week because that will give you a different dimension. I've shared all my secrets there. So reading is the one of the most crucial habit. And let me give you an example. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Every year he goes to the jungle in a cottage and he locks himself in except for his chef. He does not bring anything with him. No family members, nothing. Chef just to cook and clean. And no, no gadgets, no cell phones, no laptops, no TV, nothing, no entertainment, not even internet. He locks himself out and he brings one magic box with him. What is that magic box? The magic box consists of books. Books, yes. If the guy who has reached to that level if he is reading so many books, what is stopping us from learning and growing? Now you must be arguing and thinking, but Dave, he is a billionaire. Why would I have time to do that? I have to still fight. Look, he became a billionaire because he's reading the books, not because after, after becoming billionaire, he started reading the books. That's a complete myth. So what is stopping you? What is stopping you? Put it in chat box. How many books do you commit to read this year? Put it in chat box 
put the commitment said dave i'm gonna read these many books this year and i'm gonna watch all your comments okay i watch all the comments so commit to me in the comment box okay and by the way if you're not read my books go ahead and read them as well go ahead and order to amazon and pick it up okay that's number one second gratitude what is this gratitude all about gratitude is the feeling that you express and have an experience by just thanking for everything that you have for example here's what i do as soon as i wake up i close my eyes and thank god and universe for everything that i have clothes i have the body i have the ability to see think hear the bed that i have the food that i have the relatives that i have the family that i have the car that i have freedom that i have i thank everything and this happens in quick seconds why is it so important because i want to feel good as soon as i wake up i want to feel happy when i wake up and i want to be that throughout and this is very common in all the rich and successful people they express gratitude tony robbins has attitude to gratitude ritual every day in the morning everybody's got some or the other way of expressing gratitude and thanking but if you're thinking but you know what they're rich and now they can express gratitude what do i have i'm not yet successful you know what how do you think that they became successful is it because they became successful and then they have time to show the gratitude no they became grateful first because of which they became creative and produce more and then they achieved the goals that they had so because you become rich by having gratefulness and being happy and not that you become rich and then be grateful and happy so that's number 2 all the people all the successful that are people i have met or studied they have this very common they are very grateful for everything so what are you grateful for put it in the comment box what are you grateful for today and how often do you express your gratitude do you do it only once in a day or you don't do it at all do you do it twice thrice or every time when you eat the meal you say thank you thank you thank you or do you ask for god give me this give me that right be grateful be grateful that's number 2 number 3 it's called contribution contribution let me share my journey in 2016 17 when i had the realization that i'm a mediocre guy man everything in my life is about mediocrity when i started taking action i say you know what i'm going to help people to come out of their mediocrity and that's what i committed to and every day i started videos blogs articles even till today you watching these videos because i want to contribute I want to give so much value to people. I want to help so much because I know more I give to people, more universe will bless me. And here's what I say. Don't give to get. Give and forget. Right? In Hindi there is a kahavat, right? Saying, "Neki ka darya mein dal." Okay, maybe it's Urdu, I don't know. Do good and forget about it. Right? Forget about it. I did so many free coaching, consulting trainings at the beginning. I gave away so many e-books for free. I want to contribute. I'm making these videos for free. Why? Because I want to contribute. And all the successful people they do the same thing. Look at Tony Robbins. He feeds millions of people every year. Millions of people. Contribution. And now you're thinking, but he's got a lot of money. He can contribute. What about you? Do you have time? Why don't you contribute your time? Do you have creativity? Why don't you have creativity? Do you have knowledge? Why don't you contribute knowledge? And Tony became Tony because he started giving more. when he had nothing or he had very little he started giving more that's why he became tony you don't know the story like one one christmas they didn't have any food he and his mother mother used to fight and abuse him beat him somebody left food outside the door they knocked and left the food outside the door he realized such a beautiful feeling that how a stranger can help us i will once i when i when i grow up i'm going to help a lot of people that's why he's doing what he's doing contribution is the key more you contribute more comes back to you so does bill gates bill gates has bill and melinda foundation which is the largest foundation in the world with multi billion dollar along with warren buffett what are they doing they're solving the real world problem sanitization in africa they launched a campaign and built a commode the toilet which can automatically decompose the, their their tools there you know shit whatever you want to call it everybody's shit and it decomposes into ashes 
because they could not put such a big gutter system, the pipelines, it's a huge expense it was. So he came up with this kind of the toilets. He's spending a lot of money in India for in the education. Crazy. Because he has that heart of contribution. He is, he is where he is and God or Almighty blesses him. Now the question is, what is stopping you? What is stopping you from contribute? And if you're not putting yourself out, whether making videos, content or things, worrying about what other people will think, then let me tell you, you're selfish. You're thinking about me, myself, my problem. You know, am I looking good? Am I looking that? No, contribute. So what if people will laugh at you, smile at you or think that you're crazy? But you're contributing. When you do something with your open heart, universe will bless you. Okay? So keep contributing. These are the three things. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and make sure that you give me a thumbs up and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss these amazing inspirational stories and videos and tips that I'm learning from millionaires and billionaires from my life and my stories. I'm going to keep sharing with you. If there's anything that you want me to address or share with you or teach you, put it in chat box. What videos do you want me to make? And I will make them. This is Dave Godby. Until we meet next time. Take care and God bless you.